Our main objective with this research is to understand the potential impacts of increased frequency and severity of drought in the future with climate change. We can't plan very well for when we might have um, an extreme drought and then we can go out to the field and take measurements. That's, that's very difficult to do with these extreme events. So the way we get around that problem is that we design an experiment where we can control the amount of precipitation um, that the forests are, are receiving and, and then we can measure the response of, of trees to, to this extreme event. So more specifically, in this experiment, we are simulating um, or mimicking a, a, a drought that we might expect to see happen every 100 years. So we are creating this drought by removing incoming precipitation, what we call through fall, the water that, that falls beneath the canopy of the forest. And we're removing this water from the plots using a system of gutters. We're starting to see a growth response in the, in the trees and probably the, the largest response we've seen so far has been in the soil respiration. So something is happening below ground suggesting that the, the um, extreme drought is starting to impact the amount of um, microbial activity in the, in the soil um, below ground. It will take longer before we start to see a response in the above ground, but we do expect that um, by next year we probably will be seeing a stronger growth response in the trees as well.